morning students welcome to abn and prr college online classes today we will discuss the applications of monotone convergent theorem here without winding limit we can easily prove the convergence of given sequence in the last classes we proved the convergence by limit notation using sandwich theorem and definition now without finding limit we can use monotone te- sequence and prove that uh, sequence is convergent here the question is prove that the sequence uh, sn is equal 3n plus 4 by 2n plus 1 is bounded below and is convergent and is convergent itla question adiginatlaite em cheyali what is monotone sequence says whenever the monotone sequence any monotone sequence whether it is increasing or decreasing is bounded then we can easily say that it is convergent that means we want to prove that a sequence given sequence is monotone or not first check monotone or not if it is monotone then find whether it is bounded or not these are the two cases just we have to observe if the given sequence is monotone then observe the boundedness of that sequence if you conclude this sequence is bounded then we can easily say that it is a convergent sequence by using monotone convergent theorem let us see given sequence is sn is equal to 3n plus 4 by 2n plus 1 for increasing or decreasing to prove that it is a monotone sequence we have to check whether it is an increasing or decreasing any one happens any one of the situation there whether it is increasing or decreasing condition happens for that consider the next term of the sequence what is the next term of the sequence if it is sn next term is sn plus 1 how can we get by replacing n by n plus 1 in the given sequence 2 into n plus 1 plus 1 what is this value 3n plus 3 plus 4 is 7 2n plus 2 plus 1 is 3 now consider consider sn plus 1 minus sn the difference of these two consecutive terms what happens 3n plus 7 by 2n plus 3 minus 3n plus 4 by 2n plus 1 let us else am the denominator term 2n plus 3 into 2n plus 1 this is equal to 3n plus 7 into 2n plus 1 minus 3n plus 4 into 2n plus 3. Let us observe whether it is a positive quantity or negative quantity. What is this value? 2 into 3, 6n square plus 14n plus 3n plus 7. This is the first term and first multiplication minus denominator is same minus 6n square minus 8n minus plus into minus minus 12 2 into 2 3 9n 3 into this one 2 into this quantity 2 into 8 6n square minus 8n now coming to multiplication 3 into this quantity minus 9n square minus 12 by denominator is same 2n plus 3 into 2n plus 1 this is always positive now observe that 6n square get cancel 8n minus 9n what is this value minus 17n here the value is plus 17 get cancel Now observe that seven minus twelve. Seven minus twelve is minus five by positive quantity. What is this? This is the value of 
S n plus one minus n. Is it negative or positive? Negative by positive. Minus five is negative by positive. This value is obviously negative. That means which is less than zero for every n. Which means that. Which means that. What happens here? S n plus one minus S n is negative for every n. says that bigger terms are lesser than smaller ones s9 is less than s8 s9 is less than s8 means this is nothing but our sequence bigger terms are lesser than reverse relation happens here so sn is a decreasing sequence which means that it is a monotone sequence फस्ट कंडीशन अब बउंडेडते वी कैन अल्ले मोनटा कन्वर्जन तीर इट सैकंड के वी हेवन इज ईक्वल थ्री एन प्लस फोर बै टू एन प्लस वन इट कैन बी रिटन एस थ्री बै टू इंटू टू एन प्लस वन लैट कंसिडर लाइक दिस् फॉर अवर कन्वीनियन ओनली बै टू एन प्लस वन How much term here? We have excess here. Three by two into two n plus one is equal to three n plus three by two. Excess term is three by two, so subtract it, which is equal to three by two into two n plus one plus what is this value? Eight minus three. It is five by two by two n plus one, which can be written as this is a. This is B. A plus B by C can be written as A by C plus B by C. Then what happens here? Three by two, two n plus one, two n plus one get cancelled. Plus pi by two into one by two n plus one. What is the relation in between these two terms? Here three by two, कुछ आर चे बोलते हैं ना इगला only three by two होंगे. So this value is bigger than three by two for every n, isn't it? That is, that is, our S n is more than three by two for all n belongs to this. Any terms three by two can be at the ga on nai and the dinne manachu lower bound anachu. Lower bounds then kunte ende. Bounded below sequence लिखी उठाए, bounded below sequence लिखी उठाए का बाटे, माने sequence ऐसे में पहन देने, ऐसे ना नहीं दे, bounded below this is two. First case लेने जब पाम decreasing, decreasing sequence अलग ना ने मान के इतना उठाने दे, s one is more than or equal to s two is more than or equal to s three and so on. S n is more than or equal to S n plus one is more and so on, which means that all terms are allowed in the S one allowed in any terms can be biggest number. Can be biggest number. Then go to the bounded. This is upper bound. Upper bound not in the decreasing sequence. Key, which means that S n and the decreasing sequence and the upper way more than that the bounded. इकड़ेम चूपर रौंडेड बि चूप विच मीन दीक्वे बउंडेड अबो ऐज वेल ऐज बउंडेड बि फोर सीक्वे बउंडेड ना अब दीज डिंग दिशक्वे वन विच मीन दट इट ईज ए मोनटा सीक्वे मोनटा सीक्वे And it is bounded. This is the first condition. This is the second. Condition. Our monotone sequence is bounded. Then by monotone convergent theorem, we can say that sequence uh, S n is convergent. Like that, we can prove monotone convergent theorem. Application and danger are there. First, uh, the increasing or decreasing or tripping chain. कंक्लूड कंक्लूडी मोनटा नैक्स्ट के बउंडेड अवतनी दिन अल्लाई मोनटा कन्वर्जन तीर ओके थैंक यू